Hello everyone, this is Tasha. It is seven o'clock, so we'll get started. Welcome to Forex Basics and happy Thursday. What you are looking at on the screen is tradera.org. It's um, Tradera's new website. So we'll just, we'll take um, not as much time as we did um, the last few sessions, but we'll spend just a few minutes just reviewing the main website. Um, I know there still may be some login um, back office issues that we're waiting on support uh, to fix, but this is our new site. And if you click on, well, this starts on the company tab. So if you scroll down, first it says um, financial services, specializing in trading education. That's basically Tradera in a nutshell and meet the founders cody and easton these are the co-founders um ceo and cfo respectively as well as the contact information is based out of uh, dallas texas so at the top of the page if you're sharing um, tradera with someone who wants to learn how to trade um you can point them to the services tab here, the Trade Academy, this is the back office where you can learn A to Z, how to trade. The CEOs, Cody and Easton, are actually the ones who um, produce all of the trading, um, training, training videos. So they're really, really good. It's um, concept knowledge, everything you need to know to learn how to trade, but it's very practical. So right when they introduce a concept, they jump right in the charts to show you how to actually trade. The trade alerts. A lot of us are taking the trade alerts. These are um, trades that the company sends out for you to take and either in your demo or live account. Um, most of us are connected to the trade alerts telegram. If you want to know where that is, then go ahead and sign into your back office and under client when you click on trade alerts, there will be a telegram link. And you just put that in your browser and you can get connected to the trade alerts telegram also um, in your back office under trade alerts you can see um, a history of all the trade alerts that tradera has given um, give them some time i think they still need to port those over from the old site trade economy basically that's all world news and world events that have an impact on a, com a country's currency so if you're into that you may find that helpful and then um trade sessions so tradera hired master trader Derek conway he's also out of texas and he gives live trading sessions sunday through thursday at 8 p.m eastern and so the way to connect to that is to log into your back office under client trade sessions and you'll see a join link. If you're not able to join it live, then those classes are recorded. So um, myself and my team, we are there um, Sunday through Thursday. Derek does an amazing job of marking up the charts. And what a lot of us do is take a few of those charts and monitor, monitor that for the next 24 hours or so and take trades based on how he's drawn it up. So it's a very good session if you're interested in learning how to trade um, on your own. All right, and then the membership and the referral program, these links will just, the membership will um, show you how you can be a client for $99 and or have an IBO for $15 a month to take advantage of the commissions. And then that referral program link is going to show you the compensation based on all the different ranks. So that is our new site in a nutshell. So Forex Basics, let's talk about why we do this class. So let me share something else with you. And also, if you look in the chat, all of these classes are recorded and placed on my YouTube site. So I just pasted that in the chat again. And um, we record the entire class and post that on the YouTube site. But normally, at least once a week, I'll make a short two to three minute video and post that as well. So. Um, that's definitely a place that you want to go in case you miss something here in class. 
So what we're looking at now, so what we've gone over is everything on the right that Tradera has to offer. Now, there are some additional live sessions. Um, you guys are probably familiar with Coach Max and Ryan DeFreitas out of Lit Trade House. That's a, a specific team in Tradera. And there's a Lit, fa lit um, Facebook group. And they do live sessions normally in the morning about 7.30 or 8 a.m as well as for the Asian session about 9 p.m. And then a lot of times there is a London session, which is 2 a.m. So no matter where you are in the world, there is a session and the market is open for you. Uh, in terms of Telegram, there's one particular um, study group or Telegram group that I'm a part of, Shadera Pipmasters, and that's run by Clyde Fisher. So if you wanna reach out and connect to that Telegram, find him on, um, uh, Telegram, let him know you are under Megan's group. Megan is under him. So that gives, he'll um, add you to that Telegram group. So with that said, with all that exciting stuff uh, to the right, what we'll show you here in this class is how to open your demo account, how to download MetaTrader 4, MT4 for short. That's where you actually take the trades. We'll go over how to take the Tradera trade alert, what it looks like, what it means and show you some beginning concepts in TradingView. TradingView is where we actually bring up the chart and do our analysis. We don't take our trade from there, but it gives us a nice platform to take a look at what's going on. So um, a lot of times, um, the reason why we started this class, a lot of times learning Forex can seem like um, a second language, a new language, a foreign language. So in order to uh, get you ready for all the live classes in the back office, we're going to uh, attempt to introduce some concepts here, sort of get your feet wet, sort of like an appetizer, um, just to help you uh, be successful. All right, so here's the format of the class. I'll take the next um, five to 10 minutes to go over something uh, new and or important. And then with every class, um, because we definitely attract um, those new to Tradera as well as new to Forex, with every class, we will go over how to open up that demo account and how to uh, get started taking the trade alerts. And by that point, it'll be 7.30 and we'll spend the last half hour with Q&A. So I'll attempt to answer um, your questions as best I can. So let's shift gears. And tonight we are going to discuss counting pips. I can tell from um, when we've gone over this in TradingView that there's still a lot of questions. So we're gonna kind of take it slow and just talk about the basics of counting pips. So um, Basically, this what you're looking at, this number 1.2468 is basically a price. So every time, whether you're looking in MetaTrader 4 or in TradingView, um, the currency prices are changing. They're going up, they're going down. If you are in a buy and price goes up, then you are winning that trade. Every time the currency uh, value changes, the number of pips are changing. So, you know, every country has a different currency. The Japanese have their yen, there's the euro in Europe, the United States has its dollar. So the PIP was designed to characterize any time there's a change in a country's um, currency, in their price. So when we're counting PIPs, we're counting how much has the currency changed and we're paid according to our lot size. So let's take example, let's look at, at an example. Let's say we're in a buy and our starting price is 1.2468. Now looking at the image here, that fourth place after the decimal, that's where the pip is. That three, that's called the pipette. You can pretty much ignore that. You wanna focus on the, the pip, which is the fourth place after the decimal. So let's say we start out at 1.2468. We are taking a buy, so that means we want price to increase, correct? So if price goes up to 1.2488, let's say that was our take profit. How many pips did we earn? All you do is subtract 
2488 minus 2468, 20, 20 pips. So let's take the opposite scenario. Same starting price, 1.24688. Now this is a sell, so we expect price to drop, which means it's going to get smaller. So if our take profit is 1.24488, Again, just do subtraction, and again, we're ending up with 20 pips. So here is a buy example and a sell example of how you calculate the number of pips. Let's go to the next slide. And of course, kind of like the English language, there are always exceptions. Anytime you have a JPY pair, a Japanese yen pair, and that could be, let me give you um, some examples. That could be, and let's pull that down. So that could be AUD JPY, it could be Euro JPY, could be Chef JPY, just as uh, some examples, etc. So these are your uh, JPY pairs. So their prices, they're not going to have four places after the decimal. They're only going to have two places. So our pip is going to be that second place after the decimal to the right. So let's do a similar example. We're going to start at 76.10. We're in a buy, so we want price to go up. Let's say our take profit is 76.35. You do your subtraction, because you always want the bigger number um, on top, 25 pips. That's what we earned. Now let's look at a sell. So we start at 76.10 but our take profit is 75.80. So I know it's a little tricky, but think about it this way. We gained 10 pips when price went down to 76.00. At that point, price fell 20 more pips, 75.90, then 75.80. So that is 30 pips. So it can get a little tricky when you have to, to do your subtraction. Okay, so that's an example with our JPY pairs. But most of the time when you're doing um, any other currency, then you're going to see the four decimal places after um, with the currency price. Now, that is almost the complete story. We have to talk about the spread to actually get a true picture of how many pips you earned. So the spread is the number of pips that the broker is going to charge you to trade that particular pair. So every pair will have a different spread depending on what that broker wants to charge and the spreads will change depending on the time of the day. Right when the market opens or right when the market closes, for example, New York session starts at 8 a.m. and it closes about 5 p.m. If you take a, a trade anywhere around 455, 458, or 503, the spread is going to be potentially higher than had you taken that trade at 12 noon. So a lot of times at the very start of a session, the New York session, London session, Asian session, or right when that session is closed, is closing, that's not a good time to take a trade only because the spreads are too high. So what we're looking at on this image, and I'm gonna make it a little bigger, zoom in a bit. So on the left is how we can figure out the spread on the iPhone, and on the right is how we can figure it out on the Android. So let's take a look at the iPhone. I am in my advanced. Let me draw an arrow so you know where I mean. All 
Okay. As long as you have the advanced view, then the spread will show right underneath the pair. So for AUD, NZD, the spread is shown as seven. That last value is the pipette, so you don't have to worry about it. How can you verify that the spread is actually seven? Look at the difference between your low and high. 1.0220 versus 1.0227. You subtract the 27 from the 20, you get your spread of seven. That means price has to move seven pips before you go from the negative, which is shown as red on MT4, into blue, which means profit in MT4. So let's look at that on the Android. So for USD JPY, it's showing that our spread is two. We can ignore the last um, digit. And just to verify, look at the difference between your low and high. So for 1.07.49, and this is why we went over JPY pairs, only two decimals, two decimal places, 49, and then a difference of 1.0751. Subtract 51 from 49, that's how you get your spread of two. So how does this affect how many pips we're really earning? Let's go back to our original example. So for this pair, when we subtracted and got 20 pips, you actually have to subtract the spread. So if you had a spread of two for this trade, then you actually only earned 18 pips because you had to pay the broker the first two pips that price moved, okay? So keep that in mind, especially um, a lot of us have pip goals. So when we take a trade, we say, well, I wanna earn 20 pips or I'm really going for 50 pips or I wanna earn 30 pips on this trade. Just know that you have to earn whatever your goal is plus the spread. And if the spread is too high, you may want to consider um, maybe waiting before you um, enter that trade. A lot of times, um, let's take the New York session that starts at 8 a.m. and closes or ends at 5 p.m. So around 4.50, 4.55, that's when the spreads are going to uh, jump tremendously, maybe double or quadruple the normal amount. But normally around 5.20, 5.30, it'll settle back down. So just be mindful of that and looking at what the, the spread is before you take your trades. Now, some of you may be saying, I don't want to do any math at all. Is there an easier way that I can figure out my pips without having to think about it, without having to do math? And so the answer is yes. If you go to trading view, and that's what we're showing here. There is a ruler or measure tool and it's underneath the arrow and it looks just like a, a ruler. Let me zoom in so you can see what that looks like. It's what I've circled, that's the measure tool. So what you can do, because remember over here to the far right, here are our currency prices. So what you can do, is click on this measure tool and click um, sort of a starting point and an ending point to figure out how many pips is it from this point to this point, from point A to point B, price A to price B, how many pips is that? Maybe you don't wanna do any math, you don't wanna do any subtraction. So you click on that ruler tool, you click once where you wanna start, that's 1.0562, uh, and then you click again where you're trying to measure to, 1.05.51. So what TradingView will show you, I've circled where it has the pip count. And you can see if I zoom in, that's showing 11. And we can verify it. 62 minus 51 gives us 11. So if you don't want to have to subtract and do any math, then trading view will make that a little simpler for you. So go ahead and, and try to practice that on your own. Um, I have a video 
on my YouTube site that explains how to set up your free TradingView account. There is a paid version, but actually if, if you're just starting out, the free version will work for you um, just fine. And click on that ruler tool, click once where you wanna start, click again where you want to end, and see if you can figure out your pit values. All right, I am going to um, check out the chat <clears throat> and then we're going to move into our demo portion. And so the question in the chat is regarding the trade alert. Should you let it run or do you monitor and close the trades when you see you're in profit? That is a great question, Deb. It really depends on your mindset and what kind of trader that you are. And um, let's say you are going for 20 pips. So that could be a potential quick trade. If you set your take profit and you set your stop loss with those two parameters in place, you can absolutely walk away and forget about your trade. Now, um, if you're going for a higher volume of pips, maybe 50 or 100 pips, you may want to keep an eye on it because price may get stuck. You may get 30 or 40 pips up and, you know, you can look at the chart and see, gosh, price seems to be running into some resistance. Maybe I need to take my profit now and, and exit the trade. So it really depends on you. But technically, once you set the take profit and stop loss, then uh, MT4 will do the rest for you. All right, so I want a little bit of participation. I wanna know how many people have not set up your demo account. And Monica, I'll get right back to your question. If you have not set up your demo account, can you put a two in the chat? I wanna know how many of the 60 students here uh, need help setting up their demo account. All right. <laughs> GBP, I don't trade GBP pairs. GBP pairs are known for having a huge pullback. So I typically um, stay away from those. And that could be what's happening. You have to have a potentially bigger stop loss to handle the pullbacks. You could be in a buy for uh, GBP and keep putting that too in there for me. Um, I wanna know how many people here have not set up your demo account and need help understanding um, the trade alert. So put a two in the chat if that's you, please. So with GBP, you could be going for a buy and price may definitely be going uh, in your direction, but the pullbacks are so big, it could be hitting your stop loss before it takes off. So that could be one um, answer, uh, Eric, for, for the GBP pairs. Um, have you noticed the price points are different between MT4 and TradingView? Yeah, that does happen um, from time to time. I don't know why there is a disparity, but yes, that is true. Uh, Monica, where did you say to click the second time on TradingView? So when you're using that measure ruler tool, it depends on where you're trying to measure um, from. So the second time is your um, endpoint. So what, wherever your two price points are, and that's the distance that you're trying to measure the, the pip count, you take it from one end um, to the other. So on this uh, UJ example here, my starting price, and I'm going to move this arrow so you can see, my starting price is literally 1.0562. And now price is down here. So I want to see how many pips that is. So my second point is down here, 1.105.51. Um, so wherever you're trying to measure from and to, that's where you click. Click once on your from, click again on your to. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a great question, Carl. What are the requirements to graduate from demo to live. I don't think I've heard it phrased like that. And that is an excellent way to um, phrase that question. Um, the purpose of the demo account, one is to be comfortable 
taking the trade. You know how to change your lot size. You know how to input your take profit and your stop loss. And of course, pressing buy or sell. So you can do that comfortably without um, giving it a, a second thought. That would be um, the first goal. Secondly, you want to get accustomed to the way price moves. When you're in a buy or when you're in a sell, it's rare that price goes from A straight down to B or straight up to B. So looking at um, what we're seeing here on the screen, notice, let's say I entered the trade uh, here near this wick. So I'm in a sell, but what does price do? It falls, then it rises. It rose almost back to my entry point. It falls and then it rises. It falls, it rises a bit, and then it falls and it hits my TP. So what you have to get accustomed to is watching your profit ebb and flow. You may be up here, but then this pullback subtracts all of your profit but now you're in profit but now you lose a bit when you're up in the pullback and now you make a big drop oh you're really in profit now you're going to lose a little bit on the pullback that's what demo is for is to show you um to get you more comfortable um with you know the ebb and flow of trading so you can understand that you don't have to totally freak out, you know, <laughs> when your money is um, being subtracted, that it's just a pullback. So you want to get comfortable um, with the whole process. You want to know how to uh, know how it feels when, it, when you win a trade, know how it feels when you lose a trade. Losing is part of the game. Um, the best traders will lose trades. So you have to have, you know, the proper expectation. You're not gonna win every trade. So you wanna learn how to lose in demo, okay? You wanna learn how to use the right lot size in demo. Um, the lot size, you know, MT4 won't let you modify it. So you wanna make sure you understand, you know, what lot size to use for your account, all of that in demo. And then once you're comfortable, start your live account, $100, $150, $50, and, and, and start small and, you know, it's a learning curve and you'll make some mistakes, you know, in your live account, but it's definitely a, a process. Excuse me, can I ask a question? You sure can. Who am I speaking to? This is Eric. Hey, Eric. Hey, uh, you said once you move into your live trader, once you set up your lot size, is that on each trade or once you set it up, regardless, you can't change it? <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question. Let me answer it this way. You have to set your lot size for each and every trade. However, MT4 thinks it's doing you a favor and it will remember what you used on your previous trade, which can be a help or a hindrance. <laughs> okay, you know, you. uh huh. Yeah. So um, normally we have more that need help with their demo account. I only saw a few in the chat. So that means I'm going to zip right through the setup. Okay. And for those that are brand new, I'm going to type, um, four videos that I want you to watch on your YouTube, on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go over most of that now. So setting up your demo account. Connecting, um, connecting your demo account to MT4, understanding the, tr the trade alert, and then taking the trade alert. So because it's only a few of you, I'm going to uh, just highlight on some of these and then we'll get right into our Q&A. So let me share uh, the first one, setting up your demo account. So you'll find all of these videos um, on my YouTube site. And um, when you set up your live account, 
you'll need to choose a broker. So here's a list that the traders have vetted and I'll be using Hugo's way just to be able to show you every screenshot that you'll need for the most part to answer some of your questions and take away some of the guesswork. So if you wanna set up a demo account using Hugo's way, here is the URL that you will use. First and last name, email address, choose 500 for leverage and 1,000 for your starting balance. That's the smallest amount. Hit submit. Hugo's Way will send you a confirmation email. And absolutely, um, Alicia, I'll go over how to adjust your lot size. With this confirmation email from Hugo's Way, they will give you a demo account number. You'll need that as well as your trader password. Now here's what we recommend to get started. Pull up this email on your phone, on your cell phone, and then go ahead and download MT4. MT4 is short for MetaTrader 4. And it's a lot easier if you start taking the trade alerts and practicing entering trades from your phone. The setup on your computer is a bit more complex. And so we've avoided going over that um, for the most part because we just, we just don't want to lose you and it's going to uh, confuse you. So at some point, we'll, I'll either do some videos or do some additional classes for how to set up MT4 on your computer. But for right now, we recommend doing it on your phone. All right, so that's the, the first few steps. Set up that demo account and download MT4. So the next step, and I'm going to go pretty fast through these only because most of you have already done this. But I think it's important to cover it for each class because uh, Megan wanted, because there's so many people coming in um, with her huge organization, we always want to um, have a, a place for our beginners to come in and feel like they have some help with getting started. All right, so I'm going to go through the connection steps for the iPhone and then the Android. So let's uh, open up your MetaTrader 4 that you downloaded on the iPhone. And in the bottom right, click on that wheel or settings icon, then click on new account. And we're gonna select that second option, log in to an existing account. That way we can connect with MT4, uh, I'm sorry, with Hugo's way demo account. Now, there is a way, and this is how the back office explains it, you can just bypass the broker for your demo account and, and use the demo account that MetaTrader 4 has. The only reason I don't like it is that it starts you off with $100,000. So your lot size is huge and it's just, it's just not realistic. We're going to start off, you know, live accounts with $100. So this is why we're going the Hugo's Way route so that you can set your lot size amount. So click on that second one, type in Hugo's Way, and then select Demo 3. When you're ready for your live account, you'll choose um, a different one. So then you go to your login page, pull up that email that Hugo's Way sent you, use that demo account number as your login, trader password for your password, Click on that, uh, make sure that save password button is on and then click sign in. For the Android, open up that um, icon on the far left, the three horizontal lines, click on manage accounts and then click the plus icon in the upper right corner. Again, these videos are on my YouTube site for you. Log into an existing account, type in Hugo's way, select demo three. And again, pull up that email from Hugo's Way, type in the demo account number and the trader password. Don't do the investor password because that's like a read only action. And so the trade button won't be available for you. Click on that save password so you won't have to type that in again. And now you're inside and ready to take the trade. So that's the last set that we'll go over. So on the YouTube site, there's an understanding the Tradera trade alert where I go into each of the parameters in detail. I'll just do that here for the sake of time. So we'll start with the iPhone 
And let's say we are going to take a CAD JPY. CAD stands for Canadian dollar. JPY is the Japanese yen. So you open up MT4, but you don't see that pair listed. So what do you do? You click on that blue icon, that blue plus icon. Click on FX crosses. We're not doing crypto or indices or stocks or anything fancy. All of the Tradera trade alerts will be um, in the FX uh, crosses. It may also say Forex group. It may also say um, Forex or FX group. Okay, so here's CAD JPY. It's the fourth one down. Click on that green circle, press done. And now CAD JPY is at the bottom of your list. So once you go through this process, CAD JPY will always be there. So over time, you'll have a nice list there. Hold down the CAD JPY button until this pop-up menu comes up. Click on trade. So here is the screen where we're going to actually enter the trade alert. So on the right is an example of how um, a trade alert looks by trade on CAD JPY. So you've heard me mention these um, parameters before. Um, stop loss. Now we want price to go up because we're taking a buy. But what happens if price doesn't go our way and it falls? Well, as it falls, we are losing money. So we need to protect our account and say, once price hits my stop loss, take me out of the trade. I'll accept my loss, but don't just like continually let me stay in there and lose money. So it's important to have a stop loss set. Take profit is I'm winning the trade. When do I want to exit and just take my profits and go home, okay? So Tradera will give you a choice of three. Take profit one is typically 15 to 20 pips. If you want um, the least amount of risk and quicker profits, take profit two is normally 50 to 60 pips. You gotta be a little bit more patient, a little bit more risk. Take profit three is typically 100 pips or more. You may have to wait an entire day before price reaches there, if price reaches there at all. So more risk would take profit three, but maximum profit. So pick one, you only get one per trade. So put your finger on the stop loss, edit those numbers, put your finger on the take profit, edit those numbers. Now, the only other thing you have to do is, there, is your lot size. So look at the, I'm gonna take the arrow. This number here under market execution, that is your lot size. It will not be in the trade alert, your lot size depends on the amount of money in your account. So the industry standard is 0 0.01 for every $100 in your account. So for these demo accounts at $1,000, you can use a 0 0.10. So lot size, stop loss, take profit. The last thing you have to press is buy and you are in the trade. Let's go over this for the Android and then we'll go right to our Q&A. So you open up the droid, you're in MT4, you don't see the CAD JPY. Click on that plus icon. FX group, we're not doing crypto or indices. Those are not beginner friendly. Find CAD JPY, hold it down. Notice on the pop-up menu, it will say new order for the Android. And here is the screen where we enter the trade. The lot size looks exactly like the iPhone, but the stop loss and take profit fields don't have a label. Don't ask me why they didn't do that. So the stop loss is this black number here on the left. And then the take profit is the black number here on the right. So that's where you edit those. So lot size, stop loss, take profit, press buy, and you are in the trade. All right, I'm going to address Catherine's question to add my YouTube link again. Okay, it's in the chat. Okay, so I addressed the lot size. I see a question about the margin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do a class, um, a video for that. Basically, your free margin is 
how much um, the margin is how much money you have left to trade with and your free margin is you know how much um, of that money keeps you in the clear certain brokers will um, close your trade out once your free margin becomes too negative and that has to do with over leveraging and um, obviously the more money you have in your account the more room you have to trade so if you start with a $50 account, you're probably only going to be able to, to take one trade at a time because your free margin, um, you won't have um, as much in there. Okay. Uh, all right, y'all. Come off mute and ask what questions you have. I'll do my best to answer. Hi, Tasha. This is Leslie. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Good. And thank you. You do a marvelous job. I got a quick question. Maybe sure, two. Thank you. Uh huh. When you, um, okay, so when you <clears throat> buy, when you put in a buy, mm -hmm. if you don't wait until it reaches the stop loss or take profit, mm -hmm. you just go in and put in a sell to get out of it? No, it's, it's actually easier than that. So I have a video on my site called How to Close a Trade Manually. But basically, all you do is hold down that trade. You'll have a modify option and you'll have a close option. If you close it, no matter where you are, red or blue, MT4 will take you out of the trade. Hold down. What are you holding down? Um, on your trade screen where you can see it running, uh -huh. you actually hold that button down and you'll have a pop-up menu where you can modify it or close it. Okay, but is going in and putting in a sell, does that work as well? Um, if, if you bought? Yeah, you don't have to do it as easier than that. It's not like um, binary. That's how you would close, that's how you would do the reverse for like binary trading, binary options. But this is okay. a lot simpler. You literally go into that trade that's running and just close it out. You don't have to okay, do the let me, opposite. Let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. I, I went back in and hit sell to get out of it. Did That's, that get me out of it? No, you actually opened up a second trade. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. You that little red, mm -hmm. the little, it's red or blue, like a triangle in the left upper corner. That do, you have a, on. do you have a droid an or Android. iPhone? Uh, You're droid. on the Android. Okay. Um. So look, look at the screen that I'm showing here. At the bottom, um, you should have a trade window, a trade icon that shows all your running trades. Okay. So do you have a trade running right this second? Are you in demo? Yes. Okay. So no. hold, hold that trade down. I just down. opened live. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want to, we don't want to experiment um, on your live account, but the next time you have one open, literally hold it down and you'll have a menu that pops up the same way that, um, that we're seeing this new order, open chart and that sort of thing. If you hold down a live trade, the menu will say modify, close, you'll have some options there. And that's where you can just close it out. But I go over it for the Droid and the iPhone on that video on my um, YouTube site. And so it'll be clearer for you there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. so, I have so a question whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Leslie, try that video. And if that doesn't answer your question, come back to me. Okay. Will that work for you? Um, well, I'm trying. The, the, the one that has all the pairs on the left and it has the sell and the buy price, is that the... the, the no, the you don't want to be on that chart. I want to see the chart. Nope. Mm -mm. It should be the next one where you can actually see your running trades. The one that has your balance, your equity, your margin. Okay. That's the screen you want. So when you have a so, trade running, that's what you hold down and a pop-up menu will come. I'm sorry, what button do I hold down? One along the bottom? Um, the one that is telling you if you're, you know where you look to see if you're winning or losing the trade? If it's red, you're, you're losing, and if it's blue, you're winning? Uh-huh. You literally hold that down, and that's where the pop-up menu comes. 
but you have to have a trade running to be able to see it. Make sense? Okay. Yep. Uh, sort of. <laughs> well, ch check out that video because I go through it for the Droid and the iPhone, so it'll be clearer for okay. you. Okay. What, what's the video again? Uh, how to close a trade manually, closing a trade manually. Okay. Okay. Thank Only you. about two minutes. Yep. You'll get it. Yes. All right. Hello, Tisha. Yeah. How are you? Hey, Tisha. fine. Thank you. Yes. Here is Florence. I do have a quick question, please. Mm-hmm. So when you are in a trade, let's say, for example, that you have a uh, $100 uh, equity in your trade and uh, you place one trade and uh, you are running, you know, your loss is like 99. If it passed the 100 equity that you have, will it exit you from the trade? Um, it's going to be based on your free margin. Okay. Yeah, once that free margin gets negative, that's when you're in the danger zone. Hugo's way will actually close the trade for you. So it's not going to let you get all the way down to zero. It's going to close that trade. I don't know the exact percentage, but if you have like a $50 account and you're in the red, like $30, it's going to close that trade automatically for you. I think okay. it's just protecting you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. And mm -hmm. one more quick second question is sure. uh, one of the little issues that I have with the trade is when we receive the trade and place the trade, it's sometimes hard for me to judge how long I should stay in the trade because sometimes it will go to the red before it come back to the blue. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, I will go up to maybe $20 and mm -hmm. I don't know. I know I haven't hit the take profit one, but I still want to wait, but suddenly it dropped down and uh, I end up losing. So mm. what can you say to help with that? Um, that's a good question. Let me share. Um, let me go back to, and I'll, I'll just mute him. Okay, so let me make sure the screen has caught up. Right. So what happens, whether or not you're in a buy or sell, sometimes you hit resistance. So see where this arrow is? Mm-hmm. If I'm in a buy, obviously, let, let's take it from here. Let's say I'm in a buy and I am in a lot of profit, right? Then what yeah. happens? I get a pullback. I go up. I get a pullback. I go up. What is that telling me? Price is telling me that there is some sort of resistance, and I'm going to draw a line there is some sort of resistance um, around this area. Can you see that blue line? Mm-hmm. Let me make it a little thicker. Um, okay, yeah. So when price is telling you that it's reaching some sort of resistance, because we can't see into the future, right? We don't know what's going to happen. But at this point, I would take profit. Because in this example, what ended up happening? Price fell. So if your take profit was up here, you're not going to reach it. But price gave mm -hmm. you clues because it kept showing you that it just that this you know, line that you couldn't see was serving as resistance, price really didn't want to get above it. So that would be a good place to take profit. But for this, okay. you would have to look at the chart to kind of know what's, what's going on. And you want to look for you know, some examples of resistance where price you know, is just telling you that it may not make it through. And as, as Derek Conway always says, you can never go broke taking profit. So just, just, right. just because you have your take profit set, you know, you may wake up and say, wow, I'm in profit. I'm going to close this trade, take my money and go home. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't feel like you're glued to that take profit. You can always change your mind and take your profit. And, you know, it, it just depends on your, your tolerance because trading can be a little nerve wracking, you know? <laughs>
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so so don't, don't feel bad if you close the trade early um, before your take profit. Okay. 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 One more last, last question. Sometimes uh-huh. I see uh, what is the best way uh, or a broker that can connect with uh, trader, uh, trading's view so that we can place multiple order because I saw some people, you know, posting and they have trade the same pair like 10 times. How do they do it? Manually, it's not easy to really make it all at the same time, you know, on MT4. Yeah, so let, let's talk about that because um, someone is asking that in the chat. How do you place multiple trades at once? It just means you're doing consecutive trades. So you place a trade for buy, you hit trade again, and you type in those same numbers again and again and again and again. You're literally just doing it multiple times. So each entry is going to be a little bit different. You can't have the exact same, but I mean, you're doing it so fast, you know, that they're not that far apart. It's absolutely, Monica. Yes, taking multiple trades is ric- risky. I never do more than two entries because okay. you're either, even with two entries, you're going to win twice or you're going to lose twice. <laughs> so people who have those 10 entries, I thought, I'm thinking, well, you're pretty fortunate that you won 10 times because can your account handle 10 losses? You know, yeah, that's not Hello. something that, that Derek teaches either. Hello. Hi, Thank hi, you. Hi. Mm-hmm. Hi, t- hi, Tasha. Um, hey there. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. I have a question on um, when, when you're looking at uh, a trade that's in progress, mm-hmm. um, it has the commission. That, that Does that represent the spread? Well, depending on the trade, uh, depending on the broker, some brokers charge um, a commission for the trade. Some in brokers- addition to the spread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You go, yeah, it just depends on the broker. Also, if you're in, so the end of the trading day is 5 p.m. So if you stay in a trade until 8 p.m., they're, they're also going to charge you a swap fee. Now, normally it's, you know, just a few cents. But yeah, this is how the, break, the brokers make their money. Swap fees, spreads, commissions, all of the above, all fees that we have to, to pay. Okay, so, and those fees are in two decimal points, so are they cents or dollars or? They what? start off as cents and grow okay. from there. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, Tasha? Yes. I have a question about the highs and lows when you take your profit. Like mm-hmm. you were saying, the ebb and flow. Yeah. Is there some way to help? reduce that during the waiting for your final take profit or do you have to judge and just do more than one separate from what tradera does that's my question like is there a way to mitigate the ebb and flow yes and no i typically go for tp1 and i may do two entries so if if the goal is 20 pips to tp1 I'll do two entries, so then I'll get 40 pips because I'll have to wait less to hit TP1 than going, than taking one entry going for 50 pips at TP2. Do you see the difference? Yes. I mm-hmm. think this is, you covered that last time, I think, or maybe the last week. Yeah, week. yeah. And, and also, you just never know because looking at this image here, you know, price went, you take the arrow, price went from here to there with no pullback. That's kind of rare. Normally, you know, price goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. So that's why I said it's a yes and no. You have to get accustomed to the rise and fall of price. It's rare that it goes from A to B with no pullback and you're just blue the whole time. However, as you get more advanced, and especially by going to Derek's class, he will show you how to take the best entry because the entry, a better entry can reduce how much drawdown you have. But that's that's getting a little bit advanced. If you're taking the Tradera trade alert, 
yeah, that, that, that's a little bit more advanced too. But yeah, so yes and no, you can, um, you'll always have pullbacks. Sometimes you can get lucky and have a trade go straight to your profit and you're in blue the whole time, but that, that's not how it normally happens. Okay. Does mm -hmm. Derek's class start like five in, minutes? It now? does, in five minutes, yep. So we're going to okay. wrap up here. Tasha, Tasha, can I ask a quick question before we get off? Of course. Um, I had put it in the chat, but, you know, uh, they'll say uh, move your stop loss to break even. That mm -hmm. means you don't make any money. You just just don't lose any, but you don't make any, right? Yes. If price okay, drops well, all the way back down. Taking partial uh, or securing part of the um, profit, how, how you do that? Two different ways. And that's a great question. Um... I need to do, let me, I need to take a note so that I can do a video on how to, to secure partial profit. Um, okay. Okay. That'll be fine. No, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to answer it a little bit, but I won't be okay. able to show you all the way. Um, okay. So one example is, and I talked about it with my trades. So earlier in the week, I took a EU cell mm -hmm. and I had two entries. Mm -hmm. So on my first entry, my TP was 20 pips. For my second entry, my TP was 70 pips. Mm -hmm. So one way of securing partial profits is have multiple trades with different TP goals. One is mm -hmm. kind of short term, one is kind of long term. So the one TP hit 20 pips and I, that's called securing my profits because that trade has closed. And then mm -hmm. I waited with my other one. The other way to secure your profit is, let's say you had a 0.02 lot size. You have a $200 mm -hmm. account, you have a 0.02 lot size. When you close the trade and you get to the close screen, mm -hmm. you, can only, you can do 0.01 on your lot size and you will close half the trade and the other half will still be running. I didn't know that you could change your lot size. You can when you're closing the trade. Okay, you're, so hit the close button, and mm -hmm. then you can, ch you can change the lot size. Y you, yeah, you're adjusting how much of the trade you're closing. If you don't, trade, if you don't change the lot size, you're closing the whole trade. But right, if my right. lot size is 0 0.02, and on that, because you know it gives you, it gives, you close, then it gives you a screen saying, do you really right. want to close? Right. On that screen, if you change that lot size from 0.02 to 0.01, Mm -hmm. You are securing half your profits and 0.01 of that trade is still running. Oh, so okay. that's what that's that's one way you can do it. Or you can have two different trades running and close one and leave the other one running. Thank you so much. They say that all the time, but yep. nobody said how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're here for to help you out. <laughs> thank okay, you, thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah. He had so one I, of the videos in the back office too. He did that example mm, in the trade era back office too. Just awesome. like that. Okay, I am going to put Derek's uh, class link here. If let me see if I can find it. And then we are going to wrap up. So his class information in the back office, log into your back office, click on client and live trading sessions, and then you'll see a join link. So that's how you get to his class. But I know some people are still having um, issues with the back office and waiting on support. So I will give me a second and I will um, share that. Let me find his um, class information. Hey, Tasha, can I talk while you're doing that? This is Leslie again. I did push it and at the bottom. It says closed trade. So you got it. So will it, how long will it show up that it still looks like it's on there? I mean, it showed up in orange at the bottom, trade closed. So did, you only have, did you only have one running? Well, I had the one, but I pushed sell, thought that would get me out of it. So I closed both, the sell and the buy. Well, it, when, you, when you, you will have to press each one separately and close right, each I one. Right, I did. I mm did. -hmm. But do you know that the, the little triangle in the upper left corner on the other, um, 
the first the first thing to the left you can push it's telling you the the price of all the currencies yes it's got like a little triangle in the corner when does that go away the, the triangle yeah it's like a little triangle shaped thing up in the left hand corner of that pair you'll take a screenshot if you can and send that to me um on telegram oh, that's i'm not tech savvy here but <laughs> oh okay well let me um let me see if i can my husband has a droid let me see if i can um okay figure that out on his phone and and don't let me forget about that for next time or message me on okay. telegram and say hey did you figure All out right. what that little triangle means yeah because it comes on when you enter enter that pair in in a trade it's got an arrow pointing each way in the bottom left hand it's, it's that then the next one shows the um the candlesticks and the third one shows an arrow pointing up that shows you the if you're in a trade or not in the balance and the equity and the free margin oh it's it, the first now is it the is it the one when you press it does it show you the chart no that's the second one the one to the left the, the very first one on the left it, it shows the pairs it's got you know uh, it says mm -hmm. quotes at the top it's got a plus sign and a pencil yeah i would have to see it okay i found derek's okay. link so i am going to uh, hate excuse that. me sir uh, I, I tried to close one. I thought I closed it one time. So when you hit close, it'll go to the screen and then you have to actually hit another button to close it, make sure it's closed out. That's right. It's a verification. You hit close and then it's going to say, okay, you're going to close with profit of this amount or loss of this amount. And so yeah, you it have says to close hit, with loss. Yes. And when you hit that, that takes you out. Thank you. For, um, okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah. Okay. No Shows close. Yeah. No problem. Right. We in this together, man. All right. right. Well, I, it was a 0.01 lot size, so it wasn't it wasn't too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yes, Monica. We will go over that partial trade um, next time. I'll make sure I have some screen prints for the iPhone and the Droid. All right, everyone. I will record this and get it uploaded to YouTube um, and by in the morning all right jocelyn yeah we're headed there too to derek's class for whoever wants to join um the link is in the chat and i will talk to you all next week all right okay good night have a, have a good one bye-bye all right you too bye-bye